everybody uh, funny books and comics and beer we're back to the Fosters okay so we'll just jump into it so uh, first we have squadron it squadron supreme number three written by James Robinson and the art on the interior is by Leonard Kirk and Paul Neary it's basically a uh, it's basically a big fight issue where they take on the uncanny Avengers and uh, and that's basically what happens uh, it's mostly just a fight issue uh, it's pretty fun it's mostly exciting uh, the issue is on a interesting cliffhanger so I am interested in seeing how the next issue plays out uh, I really like this cover by Alex Ross it kinda cracks me up uh, but what it really is and I have the issue but it's uh, buried somewhere and it's gonna take a long time for me to like dig it out so I'm not gonna do that but this is really an homage to an old Jack Kirby cover of Avengers 147 or no 148 where the Avengers fight the uh, uh, Squatch and Supreme of that era, so so I thought this was pretty funny. Oh, and this here preview of next issue. I'm pretty sure this pose here is Alex Ross swiping a pose he did from of the Justice League for I think Kingdom Come. I think, but I know I know it's a Justice League illustration he did, you know, some years ago. Okay, uh, next. Uh, we have Sam Wilson, Captain America, um, introducing the new Falcon. The story is by Nick Spencer, and the art is Paul Renault. Uh, pretty, it's a pretty well done issue. We basically, like I said, get to see who the new Falcon is, and we get to find out exactly why Diamondback, who I guess had turned into a good guy, uh, has double crossed Sam Wilson and we get to see a pretty interesting fight where Misty Knight takes on the Serpent Squad or yeah the Serpent Society who is now calling themselves Serpent Solutions uh, it's funny, it's well drawn, it's uh, well written, lots of interesting dialogue, um, and just, just tight writing. I, I'm really impressed by Nick Spencer's handling of this character, this title. So, uh, Next, we have All New, All Different Avengers, number three, written by Mark Wade, and the art is by Adam Kubert. Uh, it's basically the wrap-up of the you know for lack of a better term origin uh, in this issue they take on the Warbringer and we see how they all kind of sort of come together as a team there's a nice little spread here and that's that's it uh, like I said nice art some kind of fun character interactions here and um, and I think I said this before oh actually I know I've said it before it's a real old-fashioned comic book and, but that's good I like that you know what I mean it, it just really makes you think of those old kind of Kurt Busiak or Roger Stern Avengers comics from uh, back in the day uh, you know a group of just you know mainstream superheroes banding together to take on a larger threat and um yeah and Wade and Kubert make it fun and interesting uh, fun and entertaining I should say that's what I meant to say okay uh, next I have Injection uh, written by Warren Ellis and the art is by Del Klain, uh Shalvey I guess this is the start of a new arc and basically, I can't remember this character's name, but he was in the uh, he was in the previous uh, storyline, 
and someone has come to him for help and this old guy basically says something to the effect of help me because someone has stolen the ghost of my mistress and it's mostly set up here and but there's just sort of weird moody things going on I won't give it away but there's a strange thing going on with ham and so our protagonist agrees to help he lists the aid of his butler who has some uh, experience dealing with strange oddities and whatnot and so on and so forth so yeah like I said it's mostly just set up uh, but um, but yeah it's a uh, fun entertaining I guess uh, next I have uh, Scarlet Witch written by James Robinson and the art is by uh, Marco Rudy here's a cover when I first saw it on the stand this was like basically eye level and I didn't really get the understand the image until you sort of pull back you see see that here's a map but then the negative space forms a face Woo. Um, Basically, the Scarlet Witch goes to Greece, and she has a conversation with, uh, I'm going to say her name wrong, uh, Hetcat, uh, and she has to fight a Minotaur, and I, uh, I enjoyed this issue. I actually think James Robinson's writing here is better than it is in the Squadron Supreme book. Uh, I just think you got a really interesting conversation, really interesting dialogue about, you know, gods and goddesses and the nature of magic and all these sort of things. And I just think the dialogue works better. It's just a conversation between two people, but it's uh, it's witty and it's believable. And I think it's a little bit more substantive than the Squadron book. And it also seems like it's uh, kind of touching on some of the ideas that are going on in the Doctor Strange comic right now. The idea that there's something going on with magic. Magic is broken or there's something going on. Magic is ill or being ill affected some sort of way. And I also like this art. It's very... Uh, oh. What's his name? Williams the Third, J.G. Williams the Third. I'm probably saying his name wrong. Uh, but the guy who used to do Batwoman, you know, what I'm talking about. But there's interesting things, what color and the painting and the kind of crazy layouts and things. Uh, but it works, you know. Uh, at no point was I confused. It was really easy to understand what was going on at most of the times. So yeah, I think a really solid issue. I like this one even more than the first one. Where I thought the art was kind of shaky. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I mentioned before, but each issue is going to have a different artist. So I'm sure what the approach is going to be have sort of self contained stories that kind of probably connect to a bigger story. That's what it seems like they're going for. So, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, Insects 1 and 2. I picked up this comic because I saw Funkmaster Celia talking about it and uh, somebody else talking about it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, it's a very strange comic. It's, it's kind of hard to describe. It's set in 19th century um, England, and there's this weird thing going on where we really don't get to see much of it, but this woman's husband is kind of a cad and he's a terrible person or whatever and it's suggested that he beats and rapes the servants and things and this lady here is one of the maids and these two women are having some sort of affair uh, but 
the maid is some sort of witch or sorceress and I'm not 100% certain but I think this lady might be as well or maybe the maid's teaching her sorcery I don't know there's something going on in the second issue where she undergoes some sort of strange transformation and there's all this stuff about uh, them having babies and there's all this symbolism with bugs and insects and there's um, uh, these weird creatures and, and things like running around in the middle of the night it's a really odd comic book but it's 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 kind of entertaining or it's interesting it's interesting um, but yeah it, it kind of combines you know uh, sexuality and horror and witchcraft and and you know just craziness but like I said it's an interesting mix so I, I bought the first two issues I'll probably get the uh, third to see if I'll stay on board but yeah uh, other things I got that I haven't read yet uh, Black Hood number eight uh, Doc Mirage number two and Sheriff of Babylon number two okay and that's it I gotta thank everybody for listening and everybody have a great day